morning. As I listened to the mayor describe the feelings engendered for this ceremony, I also reflected on where I was personally. I come here to befriend, embrace, and reaffirm the friendship between the Katuzi family on a personal level and honor a request on a, on a public service level. We are sitting in the midst of Precinct 1, which is one of the political subdivisions that was, was so honored to receive this location and have this location in our midst to commemorate Lauren and, and the Katuzi family and, and, and be the recipient of, of what this represents in the Flight 93. I also reflect on the spirit in which that incident that day, that's 11 years of commemorating, should and would and does represent to me the lives that are bonded together and the communities that are bonded together for peace and prosperity and, and for the strength of what America represents to all of us in, in every way. That is what brings us here today in, in such vivid memory and in such stark contrast to hate is to, to take the love that is, that is embodied in our community and will take us to this next level and to the future in striving to be a better place, a better people, and, and, and a better community, and to reaffirm the greatness of what America, what Houston, what Texas represents. I'm proud of calling the Katusi family friends and neighbors. I'm proud to have known them for a number of years, and I'm proud to reaffirm the public strength that they have and to endure this personally and to extend and allow us into their family to use it as a public service to bridge and commemorate and strengthen what this community is and what we are striving to be. If we don't, if we don't pursue anything else in this life while we're here on this earth, we should really reflect in every way of both sides of the aisle, what caused, what the effect, and, and what the outcomes that we want this country to be, and what created this incident in the first place. And as I remember Lord, and as I remember those things revolving around that, uh, that is where I think my memory is taking me to, to let's try to be a better place, a better people to each other, and a better society in behalf of each other, and reach out for those least of us who, who don't have the luxuries that, that, that we have in us in our midst to call ourselves Americans. So we know that Larry and other family members and friends have resolved to keep, have the resolve to keep Lauren's memory alive and because of none of us will ever, because of that, none of us will ever forget. And I thank you and I thank God for giving us this gift. Thank you.